I live here. This is my hometown, Cincinnati, Ohio. Duke's karate. I come here through the mother's filth and low life trash that plays the streets of the mid city. I am Carl Sims, karate expert, master of ninjutsu, jujitsu, and Chinese boxing. I studied for 12 years. I am a master and teacher of these art forms. Hey, great workout, Carl. Hey, thanks, Brian. You did great yourself. Now get in the locker room and get dressed. Oh, and come to class on time. All right, I'll be here. Oh, well, another day, another lesson learned. Man, I don't get paid enough for this. Day in and day out, I come in and work out. And for what? For what? I can't even use my skills to take out some of those thugs outside. They just sit and wait for some unsuspecting person to walk by. Oh, no, get then away from me. they snap on them. And I can't even help because the law doesn't allow me to fight or defend for anyone that needs my help. Because my hands are registered weapons. Man, this gets me so frustrated. I swear, at that very moment up in the cloud kingdom of areas. Thunder, lightning, approach me. King Ines sits in his castle at his throne high and mighty. Your father spoke very much, my son. I stand at his knee. You have been not on my side. If you're constant victory, this has been thunderstorming. For seven days, I fought the people of Earth. Now tell me, what is going on? Well, Father, we've been arguing over who will get the sacred cup of Hades. Why did you argue? You will not be receiving that cup for some time. It will take millions of human lifetimes before either of you get it. Yes, Father. But when the time comes, who will have it? My son, you both have great powers. You Vikings have the power to control wind, rain, and whatever falls from the sky. While you, Thunder, have the power to control thunder and lightning. The mighty lords of the sky, these powers were given to you by the gods. You both have a responsibility with these powers, and that is to provide proper climate for the earth people. That is your main concern. You shouldn't be even thinking about the cup of Hades. It will be given to one of you by the gods, as it was given to me a long time ago. Besides, that cup is pure concentrated evil. That was the devil's favorite cup. He drank from it many times, and his evil built up around that cup. When the gods set out to destroy the devil, they found him and cornered him in the valley of Arachnid. They attacked him. He did fled for his life, leaving behind a bag of his possessions. In this bag were a few things, but none more valued than his cup. While searching his bag, Rainus, a warrior from the gods, picked up the devil's coin and cut the cup of Hades. He instantly turned evil and tried to kill another warrior. When I flung him away from her, he vowed to destroy me. And he fled and never was seen again. Seeing this, the gods followed up the cup and gave it to me to guard. So its evil couldn't spread throughout the universe. Between the two of you, 
either of you could control the power of the Hades Cup. But I raised you right. After retiring as a warrior for the gods around the time Earth was made, the gods awarded me for my dedication in the battles I fought. They gave me areas and the powers to rule the Earth's guide. They also gave you two powers to help. Seeing as I was alone because of the mysterious disappearance of your mother during the latter years of my service. When the gods gave us these powers, they branded our heads with these golden bars to distinguish our abilities and you two as twins. While growing up, Thunder always did his job on time, and you, likely, I had to find and make you do your job. But when you did it, you and your brother did a good job. That's what you should be thinking about. You should be thinking about getting your job done and not about the Cup of Haiti. But, if I was to award one of you with the Cup right now, my choice would be the most responsible of you, and that would be Zunder. But, what? This is absurd. But my son. No, I deserve the Cup. I should have the power. Zunder, you shall pay. Wait, come back. Zunder, don't pick with your brother because he is very frustrated and he could attack you without me knowing. Thanks, Father. I'll show Zunder. I should have the cup and the power to control the universe. I will kill my brother. That way my father will have no choice but to present me the cup as a guardian, but first, I need to think. I need help to defeat my brother, since we have almost equal abilities. I need someone else to help me overpower Zunder, someone that's only out to destroy and plunder, someone that is predator, a stalker, an assassin, someone that will follow my rule. There is no one with those qualities here. Ah, yes, there are no assassins here. And if you can't find them, make them. I should go to Earth and use these beasts as assassins. I will mold my own killer. Together we shall destroy Zunder. Now Zunder, you shall pay. I must descend to Earth. On Earth, in a remote, savage jungle near the African border. This rainwater will rise the animals as my warriors, and together we'll kill Zunder. Everything that stands before you. You now possess increased knowledge and strength and other special powers. 
I have given you these powers so that together we can defeat my brother. With all your powers combined, you can never defeat me. Where is this brother of yours? I like that attitude. You're rough, mean, and ready to destroy. I should call you Ruin. You all are savage beasts, always ready for action. You should have no fear and no remorse for anything. You are here to kill. You are warriors. You I shall call Raz, because you are my spy and my messenger. You I shall call Erupt, made from the water. You are a versatile killer. Your body can morph into anything you desire. Your bare hands can crush trucks and destroy buildings. You have massive power. You, I should call palsy. You are merciless. You are a killer. You are Khan, the killer. Together, you are my army, my five phobias. Now, my killers, you have a job to do. When you finish, I should let you have this planet and do with it as you please. You can come back and destroy it. And the people who would have you locked up in zoo cages. But for now, back to everything. Back in the fields of the kingdom, Zunder was causing a lightning storm over Detroit, when suddenly... Brother, face me! What the... Ugh, I'll crush you with my... Uh. Hey, I'll see you, Pete. I'm out of here. All right, Carl. See you tomorrow. Man, look at her. Man, she's fine. I gotta make it home quick. Looks like bad weather's coming. I better take the shortcut today. Something's not right. I feel strange. The hair on the back of my neck is standing up. It seems like, like someone's following me. I can hear a faint little rumble. All right, what's going on? Carl looks around to face his stalker, but to his surprise, there was no one, except for a lightning ball racing directly at him. He stands in fright, his muscles tighten. Now he's paralyzed from shock to the point where he can't even scream. As the lightning bolt approaches, his life flashes before his eyes. He sees his childhood and the rest of his life up to now. His future doesn't look clear. The bolt touches down and the light shines on the wall of the tall building. For a few seconds, there is no sound. Nothing. There is total darkness. Then he screams a long, deep sigh as the ground melted and the electric current raced throughout his body. The bolt seared into his skin like millions of little parasites chewing on him from the inside out. As he dug into his melted clothes and ripped into his skin clawing for the source of pain, he sunk slowly into the melted tar. As he suffered, no one can help him because his scream rang throughout the city. No one can pinpoint the source. What's that sound? Where are they coming from? Meanwhile, Phobius, finish him! Something, 
must have been hit by my boat. Either I find out or die up here. Right now, all I want is revenge. I'm not 
Never breathe again. But father, he won't be human at all. I know, but it's the only way. He'll be partly human, but still have his brain and memory. And what? Father, look. His body is like steel. Don't touch him. Quick, give me your cloak. If we don't stop his body from compacting, it will implode. Here. Wrap this around his waist and leg. I'll put this piece on his chest. There's not enough to wrap both of his legs. Well, put the cloak around his waist and on his feet, up to his calf. Give me a piece so I can wrap it around his head. I only have a little piece left over, Father. It will have to do. Just in case, I'll put this gold bar around his head. Father? Yes, it must have worked. What made his skin tighten up like that, Father? It must have been that unknown mixture of chemicals on his body, and maybe something I did, which caused some sort of chemical reaction. Look, Father, his skin is soaking in the rope, and it looks like it's spilling to his body. I know, but I don't know why it's doing it. It doesn't matter. If he dies, he dies. We can only wait and see what happens. But in the meanwhile, I will go out and find Vikling, and the both of you will be getting ready to go to the morning field for your behavior. Man, I'm always taking the heat for that ungrateful brother of mine. Oh no! The cup! I gotta get there to stop my brother. But wait, I just can't leave him here. He'll wake up without a clue of what's going on. He's gotta come with me then. Meanwhile! Ah, yes! The cup! The power of complete and utter universal dominance. The power to control the underworld, and it's all mine. But I can't open it. Let's go, boss. I just saw someone about three corridors down coming this way. After all this time we spent breaking in, let's get out of here. And then we can unleash the power of the cup. Come on, out the back door. Too late, boss. They're here. He's got to be stopped. I'll find him wherever he is. That will learn you. <laughs> Ruin, come on. Let's get out of here. No, hey, wait. Come back here. What? <sighs> what in blazes was that? <sighs> He's waking up. It's about time. on me. Not a scratch. My father and I healed you. You were dead. But that's not important right now. Right now, I must go and stop my brother. What? Not important. What's going on here? Who are you? Come on, follow me. You have no time for that right now. No way, man. 
not until I get some answers. Okay, my name is Thunder. You're in the Cloud Kingdom of Areas. Right now, I've got to stop my brother. He's got the cup, and he's turning evil with every second. Now, come on. Thunder? What cup? Your brother? Who are you? Come on. If you don't follow me, you'll never find out what's going on. Wait. Meanwhile, outside the palace. Mas, he's coming. No worry. I have the most destructive weapon in the universe in my hands. Let him come. He'll be destroyed. Who did that? I did. Well, I'll show you. Ah! Destroy him. Leave no trace of his existence. Came back with more. Now you will die. Wow, that guy looks just like you. Is he your brother? But why does he want to destroy you? Look out! Hey, are you alright? Get him, Brad. Remember, we're still animals, not gods like you. I made you, so you can kill, not be killed. I am no god. I too can bleed. All of a Now make haste and retrieve the cup. 
bring it back to my father. Tell them. Come on, wait. What happened here? I need to know. The pop obvious took that cup, and I gotta stop him. I'm glad to see that you're alive. It was Wonder and I that healed you. I don't know exactly what's going on, but yes, you must stop them. I tried to stop them, but they're protected from me by the power of the cup. You have your mission now. Go, and if you ever need to come back here, just call my name, day or night. Because, to me, day and night only means a change in the shade of my cloak. I control the sky's color. It changes with the colors of my cloak and my mood at that time. Wait. What's your name? King Inus. Now go and retrieve the cup. Wait a minute. Why'd you send Thunder and his brother away? Because they shouldn't be fighting, let alone trying to kill one another. You were struck by one of Zunder's lightning bolts earlier when they fought. Then Zunder went down and rescued you and brought you back here. None of this would have ever happened if they weren't fighting in the first place. That cup plays a vital role in the existence of every living organism in the universe. Its importance is way too much to explain right now. Anyway, remember what Zunder said. Call him if you need help recharging and fight those devil monsters. Now go! Until we meet again. even knock me down with this car. No, I didn't. But that's not what I wanted to do. Get away? No. It's best if I let them go. Because I'm hurting too. There's always another day. I'm a hero now. I saved the city and all those people. All these new powers I have. I can fly and I can run super fast. And my reactions are even faster than I could have ever imagined. Plus I can blast people with lightning bolts from my hands. And that's probably not all I can do. I wonder what's next. Who else will I have to fight to get to the cup? And what happened to Thunder and his brother? Where did the wolf take off with the cup? Man, why did all this have to happen to me? Anyway, what, what makes that cup so important? And where can I find it? I don't know. But I do know that if they unleash the power of the cup, it could be a catastrophe. That's why I gotta stop them. This is my chance to protect the Earth and the rest of the universe. 
And that's just what I'll do.